don't know, it's like if you die, <laughs> you're like dead and then you just kind of like, you're not in heaven, but you're in that like stage of like dying. I just can't tell that the ping pong balls are in front of me. Or that the light's really red. I was seeing black, but now I'm starting to see white. I'm not sure if I see like red or black or any color. My head just feels a bit heavy. Oh, and it's like dark and then goes black cube. Oh, like big spot. It's like a big eye. It's getting closer to you. It's rather close now. It's like there. That's like there. It's not like seeing through the eyes of your imagination. I think about 10 minutes in, I couldn't tell if my eyes were open or closed or not, and it was only by blinking that I realised, yeah, they are open. Um, yeah, that was a really just odd feeling. For a deer, a llama, because it was a fluffy, tall, falling thing. The first proper one who was saying I shot was this little, tiny black heart. It was sort of just like around here in my perception, and that little black heart became like a bird that kept flying in the distance, and the cartoonish animals, I think they were fighting, listening to the certain type of white noise that sounded like a jet engine, I sort of felt like plane that I was um under. And I saw a ticker tail. Everything's just flying. Pac-Man. So what did you see, Amber? <laughs> I saw a pterodactyl. So it's like a now a dragon. Oh wait, no, it's a frog now. Oh, it's like a little mosquito or a dragonfly. And now I see a bird. And another big bird. Birds flying. Dark circles are gonna turn into a It's a very interesting science experiment and I believe it was a success.